Right, <laughs> yes. Hey everybody, I'm coming to a city near you. Who's next? I'm next. April 5th and 6th, Albuquerque, New Mexico, followed by San Antonio, then Grand Rapids, Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, San Diego, that's sold down. Sorry. Um, watch your son, Marlo. Oh, that's not a date. That's my tasks. Babysit my son. <laughs> Burbank, Tempe, San Jose, Richmond, Virginia, Virginia Beach, Spokane. That's how you got to say it. Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, Portland, Oregon. Take a link finally up for Portland. Hasbrook Heights, Tacoma, Washington. Tampa, a lot of dates. CraigConan.com. Today's guest is an OG homie, and my, did we almost die together many, <laughs> many, many, many of times. You're going to hear all about it. Um, yeah, he's a he's a he's a big homo, and it's a good one. I'm sorry, he's a little homo. It's a joke. It's a joke. I lied. Anyways, we talk about beliefs. You won't understand that till the end. So tune in. <laughs> tune in. It's a doozy, and don't judge. Go to rip in. Are we rolling? Yes. You were already giggling. Oh. Look at. <laughs> I haven't even looked at him yet. <laughs> what's up lover dude this is my big gay homie i'm just kidding <laughs> little gay homie little gay home no bro it's been you got thicker <laughs> you little chubby checker look at those cheeks you're storing nuts for winter <laughs> oh my god i love you bro i haven't seen you in years killer boots man dude, yeah. jesus Fuck what do you got some club feet Work boots. You as how tall are you? What size are you? I'm only. Uh, these are you size. queen. <laughs> Those are nines. That's why Nine. I can't wear boots. Yeah. I have twelves, and if I wore that boot, you'd you'd call me Mr. Munster. What's that guy? <laughs> that lurch. Yeah. Pull your mic a tad closer. Get comfortable. Hello. Hello, Can governor. You hear me? <laughs> I forget you're a regular human. He doesn't know how to work a microphone. You want it like right here. <laughs> But you know how to work a cock? Now put it up to your mouth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hold it? <laughs> <laughs> Two hands, man. It's black. Oh. Oh. The mic. The mic. Is it not? <laughs> Is it not? Can I not speak? Dude, how long have we known each other? Like 20 fucking years now? Fuck. 15? Uh, 2006. 12. Twas the best of times, time. twas the worst of times. <laughs> I knew him when I was cracked out, but so was he. So we're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Equally incriminated. Oh, Jesus good times. Christ. How many stories do we got together? <sighs> I just, I can never forget. I think about you every time I drove by. I dog, 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 dog. <laughs> Are you talking, Craig? Every time I drive by 29, I look at that trash can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I look I at trash, I think of Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I do. You were cracked I, out. I was an <laughs> <athlete>. <laughs> He worked at, we worked at Trader Joe's together when I was at my worst. When I didn't open the mail. Oh, my Before God. I got arrested with the scab. You were at my job when I got it, the 4th of July? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got pulled over three oh, nights yeah. later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we were hotboxing. Uh. And you had the warrant. <laughs> you had a warrant. I told that story. Yeah, yeah. He was there. Yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> Damn, we got funny. so many stories. I was like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> we were. Yeah, yeah. He took the that's rap for my too. weed. <laughs> But I had to drive your vehicle away while intoxicated right after getting yeah. arrested. I was out on bail for four charges, and now I'm drinking and driving and smoking. And they're like, it's okay. And I'm like, I don't know. Because <laughs> he's like, you got to take my car. I took the rap for the weed. All right, let's tell the whole story. We're fucking it up. There's too many. This is what I mean. I look at you. I'm like, which one? <laughs> which time? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we were on strong acid and the fires were going and it felt like the world was in because the ash was collecting on our cars? <laughs> I, I remember. 
You're like, do you remember doing an ounce of mushrooms? <laughs> an ounce? We did yeah. an ounce on it. Was, well, between me, you, and Ryan, and oh yeah, and then we went. Yeah, and I, I dude. forgot about that. <laughs> no, His you guys wonder why friend? I don't talk dude. so good. Oh, when he almost knocked that guy out. <laughs> no, when we the got the fighter through PV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're listening going. to Slayer, and we almost died. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. I was so you ready was, to die. It was yeah. You, I thought. We oh, were that was the other homie that I slapped. That was. We need to name him. But uh, <laughs> he was. I anyway. remember you slapping somebody. Yeah, he, I felt bad about that. Anyways, <laughs> we're in a car. We're bugged out. I don't remember being an ounce. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was four of us. It's yeah. a quarter each. That adds up to me. We and. We're uh, <laughs> Oh, a lot. Anyways, we were, uh, we ate a lot of mushrooms and we we're listening to Slayer, probably drinking yeah. and driving and climbing <laughs> cliffs. And we were having a ball, but one guy was holding on for his life. You know, he's just like, a, we're like, bro, it's only life and death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You actually give me anxiety. I forgot this stuff. I remember it a little bit, but when he, you know what I mean? I'm like, uh-oh, I told you I was chasing that piper. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? I don't what? know. <laughs> <laughs> he tricked me one time. That was fucked up. <laughs> one time I get him to, I tricked him it's into sniffing time. some heroin. One time. <laughs> 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 he said, is that coke? I said, yeah. <laughs> it was not. I was like, nah. He's like, that's not coke. I told you I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bro. Anyways. Let's do some more. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Immediately afterwards, he said he did say that. He's like, let's do more. And then we took a bong hit of it. And then we puked. <laughs> and we had to drink milk. And we're I was living with my mom. I was living, we we're on a ball on the floor. Remember that? We took bong hits. We went hiking too. Oh, we went hiking. We drank after a couple we talk hits. Yeah, this is it was the best of times. <laughs> there was the never uh, tell stories on a podcast with a guy you used to do dope with. You know what I mean? It comes yeah. out. You're like, oh god, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> Don't remember that one. Anyways, back to that trash can story. Yeah. Uh you had closed down Trader Joe's, and I was opening up Trader Joe's. And when you get at that time, there was like 4 a.m. to noon. So, so I pull up to go to my 4 a.m. shift after he closed. He's shit face drunk. He's pulling trash out of trash can. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> what perfect timing for that. Like Oscar the Grouch. I'm not even kidding. He's throwing trash out. He's searching. I'm like, what are you doing? This is on Pacific Coast Highway. This is a major highway. Yeah. He's shit house. He pulled up like crooked, like cop car doors open to the trash can. <laughs> Like he rolled up on a criminal. <laughs> I'm pulling in. I'm like, Kyle, you're going to get arrested. I think he still had the warrant. Who was I with? Probably was was workers. Don't say names, fool. Uh. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he because he, you had accidentally thrown your weed away or the bag away. Yeah. You were looking for drugs. That's all I remember. Yeah. He was fiending for drugs. It got to like 3 a.m. And he's like, I think it's in the trash can. I accidentally threw it away. <laughs> but you didn't know that. Mm -mm. Did you find it? I don't think so. I don't remember. <laughs> he just smoked some corn nuts. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> just digging through a trash can on the on on the on the side of the store. PCH. PCH. Three thirty a.m. Sheriff station right up the street. Yeah. Full. Yeah. <laughs> Wildness. Yeah, drunk, we were nuts. Drunk with the Trader Joe's shirt store. Oh my God! You were <laughs> with me when we drunk with with. My my gangster cousin in Lake Paris, remember? Um, oh, 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 oh my God! No, the Ho Chi Minh Trail of uh, trailer parks. Remember that? Yes. And then I, how could I forget? <laughs> I drove us home. The neighbor, like the weird, the weird guys down the way, the farmers and the goats. Dude, it was too much. Hey, was the too party much. was fun. Though. The party was fun. The party was dope. Yeah, you, we you torturing the kids on the swing. Oh, yeah, I think oh, I made some kids cry. That yeah. was a tire swing. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh, Norm MacDonald. They were like, Manage. stop. Jeez, mister, I don't like... know you. <laughs> Leave me alone, mister. And I'm just swinging them on the swing. And they're going way too high, like holding on for their life. <laughs> and I'm laughing. 
Anyways, don't do narcotics, guys. I'm not proud of my actions. So. <laughs> this kid's like on a tire <laughs> swing. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on oxycotton. The kid in the shopping cart at the bottom. Which one was that? <laughs> oh, at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Oh, that kid was a punk. I had to shake him up a little bit. His mom, he was like, eh. His mom was like, what are you doing? I just had to shake him a little lady. It's different now that I have a kid. I would never shake someone else's kid. But when they're being a brat and you're on drugs, you got to shake the cart. That was pretty funny. Rattle them around a little bit. Anyways, we're going to have to edit this episode. <laughs> we're leaving it in. So what? I shook a bratty kid. Big whoop. Prove it. No, it was great. Prove it. No cameras. <laughs> Dude, um, so on the, uh, and my cousin shit in the, in the, out in the boonies. Remember when we were going to bed? I just told this story, but you're my only witness. Do you remember what he did? Before we were going to bed? Oh, the, yeah, speaking on the mic. Pull the mic. Before we were going, yeah, to we bed? can pull it back to you. you Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 abandoned haunted like trailer yeah. with cobwebs and dolls and motorbikes. There's sleeping bags in the back. You can use them. <laughs> they weren't no even rolled bag. up. <laughs> no, there was no sleeping bag. Yeah, I he got it from under the puppy cage. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How could you forget that? I do remember that. That he dusted it off. <laughs> And it was as if he poured a bag of dirt in the air. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'm not, I'm disgusting and I will not use that. I remember laughing so hard and this fool was just standing there like, well, what? What? <laughs> like, yeah, like he, he I'm like trying my, to be hospitable. My cousin didn't even understand. <laughs> like, I'm like, dude. No, no, that was you just gave us a dog blanket out of the cage, the kennel in the dirt, <laughs> in the di outside, out of the in the dirt, in the kennel. <laughs> you know the blanket under the kennel, yeah, with yeah. piss and fleas and dirt. <laughs> I had so much anxiety, I wasn't even wasted anymore. Remember we you, we had to like roll over. I like rolled you over. Your... I rolled over to clear the cobwebs, <laughs> so he could sleep in the corner because it was like a a corner cot. And he, I'm like, I'm not sleeping in that corner. He's like, I'm not sleeping in that corner. And then there was like cobwebs. He's like, all right, you clear the cobwebs and I'll sleep in the corner. Like, a, you know, a compromise. I was like, all right. And I rolled over. And went, ah. I was just covered in cobwebs. And we laid there like this for like five minutes. And he's like, I'm going to drive home. <laughs> and then we sobered up and drove we, uh, home out of we, fear we and like adrenaline. We like out. It was funny. Yeah. We're like, <laughs> we didn't even say bye. Thanks for the blanket. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Oh, <sighs> and then that that hot boxing incident. So we're drinking over at Doc Wilder Beach Park. It was a bonfire, and we had uh, some cheap cheap whiskey, Sailor Jerry's. Ugh, ugh, yeah, ugh. yeah. Uh. And then uh, <laughs> so we're uh, we're driving from beach. We're going to Hermosa to meet up with some fools at Hennessy and Hermosa Pier. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're drinking and driving, and that I'm not proud of it, but it's what you did back then. There was Don't no Uber, that. there was no Lyft, but we uh, put the Sailor Jerry's in, in the Coke bottle, <laughs> and we were drinking out of Coke bottles and whiskey, and then uh, we were hot boxing, and uh, <laughs> we just see the flashing lights behind us. We're like, oh <laughs> shit! Air it, it out, <laughs> air it out, air it out. We roll the windows down, it's clouds. It was just straight Cheech and Chong, bro. <laughs> like, why Remember were the cops we doing that? Remember what the cops said? 86 Corolla, dude. <laughs> 86 Corolla expired tags. That's how they got you, right? Was it? Yeah. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Dirty car, dirty kids. <laughs> He's got a warrant. I'm out on bail. We're hot boxing, drinking and driving. The police said... <laughs> he, he laughed. He said, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> And he found like four bags of weed because we lost two. But like, remember, he kept yeah. finding the weed. Yeah, and you're like, that's where that was. Of pipes. I was like, oh, that's mine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah. pipes too. He kept <laughs> finding about pipes that. and weed. <laughs> and then I threw like an extra bag of weed. So I'm like, he's already going to go to jail. Why do I have to too? So like, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're handcuffed on the curb. And you remember what he was asking me? You remember? <laughs> He said, have you been arrested for? I was like, yes, sir. 
<laughs> he goes he goes what city i said hermosa beach this one sir <laughs> what day fourth of july what for firecrackers wait a minute you weren't the firecracker kid that threw them at the horses were you i said no sir <laughs> and then he goes like this <laughs> and he starts laughing i'm like you shut the fuck up kyle you shut the fuck up. Allegedly, You're coming I'm, with me. <laughs> I'm out on bail. I'm innocent of proven guilty. And then uh, and then he had a warrant, but Torrance PD wouldn't pick you up, which was yeah. rare, which was rare. I was kind of hoping they would because I knew what was coming next. Because <laughs> he took the rap for my weed, but he couldn't drive because you had a suspended license mm. and a warrant and expired tags. They're like, you have to drive. I was like, this is a setup for that firecracker thing. I know they're trying to get me. I know I'm fucked up. They're gonna get they're gonna let him go to get me. You know? And then he, I was like, I'm gonna go walk to my sisters. He's like, Don't you dare because they were gonna impound your vehicle if I didn't drive. Some uh, catch twenty two. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, but he took that weed rap. So I drove maybe like a block and we pulled over and then we walked the rest. Uh -huh. And then we were just drinking and being bad. And the cops were just pulled up watching me drink. And I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> and yeah, the same ones that pulled us over were just watching us on the stream. Yeah. What creeps. Yeah. I mean, get it live. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't banned from the pier yet. That was at a later date. Anyways, don't do drugs, kids. You yeah, see? You go. see? I try to tell y'all. I try to tell y'all. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Or, no, just don't do them. <laughs> Remember when uh, I let off mortars at that one manager's house and I said, this want to see me, we call uh, managers full-timers <laughs> at Trader Joe's, you know. I said, hey, guys, want to see me piss off a full-timer? But I was shit-faced. So I let these mortars off. And then I go to work the next day and he comes at me like all mad and aggressive. He's like, I know what you fucking did last night. I was like, what What I do? And I didn't even remember. I didn't even remember. People threw him in the back of his truck. <laughs> I didn't even Lit remember that. And threw him in the that. back of his truck. That sounds about right. Late. And, and then we went and blew up a pumpkin. That was innocent. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have the video somewhere still. Yeah, I remember that. That was so fun. Two it took two <laughs> shells. I remember it was a big one. It was a big display pumpkin. We're like, hey, let's have it. They're gonna throw it away. Hundred and eighty pound pumpkin. And we blew that shit up. Blew that motherfucker <laughs> to shreds. And that's what I did before I found stand up. Aren't you glad I found my outlet? <laughs> You're right. I was a terrorist, bro. I was a terrorist. He seriously just wanted to go get fireworks and blow shit up. Remember I threw yeah. all the empty forties in the back of our captain's truck and he got mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're we're at a company party, you know, the employee, Trader Joe's shit. We went to PV Bowl, and then we pulled, we are pounding 40s in the parking lot, and then I put all the bottles in the back of my boss's truck laughing, <laughs> and then he, he confronted me about it, and I was just laughing, and he didn't like me after that. <laughs> <laughs> what a pussy, man. Just have a good time. Do you remember uh, when... Uh... Our, what's her name? Our first mate. I'm not going to say her name, but when she caught you in the cooler itching your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, both, both sides, sides just like I was, eh, going at it. I was under. Like, <laughs> I was under. And then he's like, uh oh. <laughs> like a bear caught in the woods. I'm like, she goes, wash your hands and put some gloves on. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Remember when they caught me peeing behind the dumpster? No. <laughs> you don't remember that one? I'll never Which forget time? it. Which time? I was pissing behind the dumpster, and two of my managers peeped in to see what I was doing, and I was just going, la, 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 la. And then I walked in and like, Craig, we need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> you were being. They're like, we have a bathroom. I was like, give yeah, this a line. It's a line. <laughs> There's a line out there. In there, not out there. Not I want to pee where the people are. <laughs> <laughs> Out there dancing. What do you call it? With the trash. Trash. <laughs> Look at me pee under the sea. <laughs> Why am I singing Little Mermaid? I love it. Whoa. Stories, bro. What else? Hang on. That was more. Yeah. Remember when you lived in Pedro in the hood and we just used to hear <clears throat> gunshots? 
Yeah, and we played beer pong every fucking yeah, and, night. And then I was always scared gangsters were going to come down your alley. They, like, this is they a bad did, alley. They, they were cool. They stole my toolbox. Yeah. <laughs> they stole your toolbox, not his life. Yeah, so that, I'll quote that, I guess. Hang on, there was more. Namaste. The PP digging in my ass. <laughs> The hot box and takes the cake. Oh, ooh. which one? Remember when we went and saw the dark night? <laughs> or- oh <laughs> my god! Yeah, the beer bottles. We snuck Stupid. like a, <laughs> we snuck a little twelve pack, six pack of glass bottles into the dark night movie theater, and uh, we sat in the handicap. We seat. sat in the handicap <laughs> seats. Just the two, like right in the center. <laughs> And then there's like one quiet moment in that movie and we kicked over the beer bottle and we just hear it rolling. The whole movie theater just hears it rolling (laughs) and then just and we're like, oh, God, that's us. That was us. We're drunks in the handicapped seat kicking over beer bottles. We were bad, dude. We were menaces to society. (laughs) This is why I tell you kids to act right. I'm telling myself is who I'm really telling. You know those assholes that bring in glass bottles to the movie theater? (laughs) (laughs) This one quiet moment in that movie. There was two. (laughs) Two. And that's, we didn't, we. It was was, you both times. Of course. Of course it was. I'm like a magnet for chaos. I got it in my soul, bro. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I miss it sometimes, the chaos. <laughs> I just want to blow shit up. I and, just, and, yeah, and I don't have the energy for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. I got this kid's kicking my ass. This kid's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I had Are a kid. you sleeping Did through the night? Congratulations, by the way. Oh, yeah, I'm sleeping through the night. That night part doesn't, but I'm there a lot. I'm not a chump. I show up every day yeah. and uh, help out every day. Every day possible. I'm on the road a lot. Um, yeah, there's just not much moments. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we, you can, with the brand new baby, you have, you have to have an army. Because like even to take a shower, I was like, Oh, sister, can you watch him while I take a shower? Because, like, yeah. you know, they're fucking infant. Yeah. I, my it, roommate had a baby, and I actually watch him on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Oh, you know. He's You'd always help and... help with Vincent, my cousin Vincent. Yeah. Remember? You'd always hold yeah. him. I oh, you remember all. Jacob when he was. I'm, would... like, cleaning and holding him. <laughs> or actually using the leaf blower. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. We got this. <laughs> you have to hold them and poop yeah. and hold them. And like right hold when you them. set them down, they just start crying. Yeah. Like, they always want to be moving. It's like, bro, just chill. <laughs> I got to wash the dishes. You know? It's good, though. I know that sounds like we're complaining, but it oddly is filling my cup. This kid is giving me good chaos. <laughs> it used to be bad <laughs> chaos. This is good chaos. What's odd about it, too, is like there's so much more on my plate, but I have less anxiety about it. I had more anxiety before my kid. I don't understand that. I was talking to my baby mama about that, too. She's like, I don't understand how I have 800 more things to do, but yet I'm more at peace inside. I don't know what it is. Probably just the Nino. It's fulfilling. Too bad you can't have one because you're gay. I don't want one. I'm sterile. That was a joke. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I've tried. I just don't. Not to have a kid, but to not be gay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. You're like, yeah, I'm bi. Like, You're like, oh, okay, bro. <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm my... top. Oh, <laughs> my. Oops. my... <laughs> <laughs> My Prince jokes, one of my best jokes, and it's the true story of, of Kyle coming out at a Prince concert. 
and uh, the whole punchline oh, is, yeah. is like he's he's like I'm gay, and we're like no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. He, for that's my punchline. Like, you got a purse, bro. <laughs> we know. Um, but he, you you inspired our homegirls to come out that night, and we did not know, and that yeah. was a complete surprise. And they're still together, and they're married, yep. and they just had a baby. Yep. And that's the funniest story I've ever heard. Four people walk in straight, three people walk out gay. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole punchline is they looked at me like it was my turn. I'm, like, I'm, I'm just weird, bro. I'm just fucking weird. So I did math and put a cucumber in my ass one time. <laughs> one time. I surely hope not. I know it was at least three times. <laughs> Wild life. Wild life. Ah. Uh. We snuck into the, the the Berlin concert. Do you remember that? Oh my God! Yeah, we, that was crazy. That was, yeah, <laughs> you straight duped the security. <laughs> I oh fuck, wait, no, I was it was nuts. the ticket lady. You were like, oh, security said it was okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be duped. I was a, I would always look at the angle. I could I could get in there, you know. I could scale yeah, it, and we got in like all the time. I would just confidence lies running <laughs> fuck <him. laughs> we even went down to the vip area yeah remember when we were with that big girl and we just bumped her off the ledge because she was scared to jump it wasn't high it was like this high just like a we all high. jumped down <laughs> jumped down jumped down and then it was the big girl's turn and she was too scared so we just gave her a little you know little but bench. then she made so much noise and like fell in a trash can and bumped the security <laughs> guard <laughs> And we were we were like where we were not supposed to be. We were in trespassing area, and then she's like, "Oh, sorry, I fell." And the security guard just did nothing. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And we were in VIP watching Berlin, seeing riding on the metro, and take my breath away, all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Tickets were probably twenty dollars, but we snuck in. Yeah, we you got know? some free beers because we didn't even like we found some on the table. Oh yeah, we just found it yeah. for just drinking warm other people's beers <laughs> consolidating them drinking them yeah. i was a broke drug addict folks but i like to have a good time <laughs> i followed his lead yeah <laughs> hey if you, you want to have a good time with six bucks what a <laughs> lunatic holy shit oh that, that's... i stole his sucker for out of his locker at work oh one didn't time. i stab you yeah because i told you about it i stabbed him in the thigh yeah. just with the knife it was, <laughs> it was a fork <laughs> it wasn't that bad no it wasn't that bad <laughs> anyhow that meant that's a bad look kyle don't steal don't. crazy <laughs> candy <laughs> don't i stabbed my friend one time <laughs> one time just a little broken skin no it barely did. yeah it barely even nicked me <laughs> <laughs> didn't even hurt <laughs> damn man hang on there's more but wait there's more but wait yeah there's more nope that's all I got <laughs> we'll come back I want to talk about P did it P did it's all over the news I was supposed to talk about him yesterday I forgot to do 50 cent I learn everything about P. Diddy through oh 50 God. Cent. It's fucking hilarious. Tell me more. Okay, you don't know about I, Diddy? I heard about all this, but... Diddy, uh, well, yeah, he's guilty and yeah. running or <laughs> fleeing or hiding. Oh, he fleed? Something like that. And uh, they got his drug mule and they raided three of his homes. Oh. And Jay-Z, uh, P. Uh, 50 Cent post a mailbox to Jay-Z on it and it wrote, Missing. Because Jay Z is supposedly equally, if not more so, uh, guilty of some of the same stuff, and everyone's talking about that now. And now he's silent and not around. And Fifty Cent is just putting these motherfuckers on blast, and I love it. He's like, I did my time. Yeah. <laughs> well, because he's a real man. He just, you know, he just did gang stuff. He didn't do the whole diddling, yeah. you know. He just the power know, shit, slang crack. Yeah, yeah. Cracking guns is different than uh, diddling minors. Cracking guns get a pass in my book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the other one, may you burn in hell. Anyways, uh, yeah, just wild. You don't, you're not up to up to par. I'm not kind either. Of, other than Fifty just, Cent's Instagram account. Yeah, just on what I see on. Yeah, P Diddy media. is keeps getting more and more and more. Keeps coming out of the woodwork. The FBI has raided, I believe, three of his homes. It was said. According to 
50 Cent's Instagram account. P. Diddy's private jet was taking off, but air traffic control made him land. He was fleeing for an island where there's no U.S. extradition. Oh, but they said, you land. And then they did. I think they got his drug mule. Um, Jay-Z is quiet and hiding, and a lot of people are coming forward talking about him. Nothing's happened yet with Jay-Z. Yeah. But yeah. Well, they can't find him, right? So Yeah, they're, they're just saying like he's being real low-key right now. Um, I, I don't think there's any charges or anything, but there was some leaked documents that named uh, Jay-Z with Weinstein in, the, like, you know, those Jane Doe verses yeah. where they paid out to hush money, but someone leaked the files, and his name was all up in there. Yeah, this shit's crazy, y'all. I don't know, conspiracy. It's just crazy. <laughs> is it conspiracy? It's just like half of the music industry in Hollywood is just Corrupt. monsters. Yeah. They've been doing Money. weird shit since back shit. since Shirley Temple. It's like she talked about it. <laughs> what? Yeah, Shirley Temple was on an interview on uh like Larry King and she talks about her and her mom basically got like yeah. Bad stuff from uh, the uh execs and so that was in like ahead, you know? Like that was like a hundred <laughs> years ago. Damn that right? But I mean no. they got a career, right? Eighty, ninety years ago. <laughs> 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 Because I want a career. I'll do stuff, you know, for a career. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why they don't want to molest you, because you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like this. Oh, oh. no, please don't. <laughs> don't touch me. His I'm booty's up in the air, greased up. <laughs> no. No, P. Diddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. P, don't do me. <laughs> no, P, wait. P. Diddy. <laughs> He did him. <laughs> Kyle has four cats too. Mm-hmm. Real one. And two dogs. Yeah. I got a lot of pets. Oh shit. I'm trying to get some fish. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Sorry, I have to respond to the booker. Quick. Quick. They be quick. Got a spot at the Laugh Factory this Friday. Yeah. I'm at the Laugh Factory, Long Beach Friday. Oh, this comes out. Oh, it will come out. No. You missed it. <laughs> you missed it. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I like your kitties. Are they same litter? Two. D- no. He's OG. And then the sisters, uh, the two small ones. Okay. He's not related, but he's their elder. He's the OG. Oh man, I'm a how cat do you lady. keep their collars on? Well, one's not wearing one. If you see how that's going, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, most of them don't give a fuck. I need to get them flea bass. I got fleas. I gotta change my sheets. Damn it! Damn. Diary and fleas. Diary and fleas. It's a good life. <laughs> it's a good Jesus. life. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Did you get religious over the pandemic? What happened? Have you been doing no. ayahuasca? How have you been? It's been a long time. Yeah. Um, since you lived in the hood. You moved from one hood to the other hood. Yeah, I see. I'm in East Los. So. Haven't you heard of a good neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Compared to South Central, <clears throat> East LA is amazing. Well, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. This guy went from the hood in San Pedro to the hood in South Central to the hood in East Los. And I'm like, Kyle, <laughs> have you heard of Torrance? It's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I know it's cheap. I know. Yeah. I've lived in the hood before. My family has lived just, in the hood. You know, I don't want to spend like three grand a month on a studio. <laughs> you get them for two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy in his hoods. Yeah, you you visit me when I lived in Inglewood. Yeah. That was a nice area. Yeah. Just not a few blocks away. That was cool. You, when you and uh, Yeah. Yeah, with roommate. Together. Yeah. That was fun. That was, that was a good time. Look at these cats. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Hang on. So what... A, you're just doing a uh, comedy full-time, right? Yeah, doggy. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting biscuits. He, right he said he was going to do it, and he did it. I love it. Oh, yeah. He's, he saw it all. Yeah. Weren't you at the first show? 
Yes. Yeah. I was. Damn, that was wild. I drank, that was funny. I drank that was great. Like two <laughs> tall boys of PBRs and ate a hash edible and gave one to the homegirl and it made her puke. <laughs> Speaking of edibles. Yeah. Remember your birthday party that year? Who brought over the edibles and just thrashed everybody? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We're yeah. All, like puke. <laughs> yeah. We put these strong edibles out and didn't oh, tell God. anybody and it ruined <laughs> a lot of people. Didn't tell us how strong they were. <laughs> It made a lot of people go home. I thought they were just chewy chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking going. Nah, there. not at my party, bro. Dude. And then we, I put, <laughs> were you at the party when the tweaker got out of control and we had to duct tape them up and hog tie them? <laughs> no. With the promethazine in the, in the, in the syrup? No. You, you were. No. Was I? No. <laughs> he got naked and peed on my roommate. No. <laughs> and then he slapped him around, and then we had to beat him <coughs> up and tie him up. That sounds pretty fucking <laughs> eventful. <laughs> that was my last birthday party before I got sober, was the hog tie. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Actually, you know what? I think I was there, I but think I think there. I Culver left City. Early. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't there for that part. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I remember playing egg toss with you in the alley. Yeah. Didn't we win? Yeah. I don't remember. I feel like we did. I remember the hog tie. <laughs> I remember I had like Bowie knives for prizes. And, and I remember this girl was just wearing a Bowie knife on her hip at my party. And it was so hot. I was like, damn. That's sexy. Yeah, good parties. Yeah. I gave out like Coors lamps and Bowie knives. Yeah. Oh, I got a and, lamp. And I got drugs. a beer lamp. Yeah, the Coors lamp. Yeah. 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 And then shit. And then some people it's can't like handle taking a trip down memory lane. I yeah. <laughs> some people can't handle their drugs. Homeboy just got all naked and started pissing on people. We had to beat him up. <laughs> we had to fuck that fool up and we we're choking him out. And all the girls are like, "Stop it." And we're like, he's ruining the party. <laughs> <laughs> and then my uh, roommate, the one I got raided with, the police, <laughs> that's the same house. And then we got lit, raided, and then I farted on the cops. And then I got sober. <laughs> it's crazy that none of these stories are made up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm leaving out shit. I'm leaving yeah. stuff out. There's a lot left out. <laughs> 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 there is tons to be said still like, we'll tell a naughty one remember that one you time right like i a know detailed story for each story <laughs> we're at this party house and uh and everyone was going to sleep and then we were, we were on acid or some shit you were passed out on the couch you remember this story and me and old girl were like making out in the kitchen <laughs> And when it's getting hot and heavy, but there was nowhere to go, it wasn't my place. And I live with my mom and cousins and, you know, I can't. And then she's like, my friend, like, he's right there. And it was him. I was like, I'll put a pillow over his head. Come on. <laughs> and then I just, I put a pillow over his head. And we just had sex right next to him. <laughs> and he never, he never woke up. <laughs> it was awesome. Good job. It was awesome. <laughs> Do not disturb. <laughs> Something about mushrooms at the end. You just get real horny, you know. And she was, it was awesome. And then I found out later that he hit it too. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> anyway, you remember? I remember. I remember. <laughs> it, was, it was when he was straight. Remember, okay, bro. I remember. <laughs> I had a different date, different. Yeah, yeah, not different. not like that. <laughs> not like that. That's gay, bro. It was it was my my trying. <laughs> yeah, to was, not be gay. <laughs> that was a wild party house. <laughs> I don't yeah. like those drugged out houses Dude, anymore. They, they, they've like, like taken apart clocks in the corner. You don't want to be at those houses. No, folks. no. Like you stay up all night and you just like yeah. see the sun come up and, and you then just you feel like shit. And then the demons come oh, out. I hate it. Nah. I couldn't even do an overnight job. Nope. I got to sleep. <laughs> I got to sleep at night. <laughs> I fucking. Yeah. 
these stories are funny, but they remember, they make me remember all the shit I hate. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. I, like, that's crazy. <laughs> You're like coming down, like, ugh, I'm so disgusted with myself. I, I put Why the pillow, I I put the pillow over my head. <laughs> 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 what did I do? Yeah. Dr- drugs, dude. So when you're, what happens when you drink copious amounts of alcohol all while doing copious amounts of narcotics? Weed was the only savior back then. Weed mellowed us out. <laughs> Fucking at night with a blunt was a chill evening. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm upset about like taking one hit on the road, you know? Back then, it was two blunts, and I was like, that's that's good. You're, you're a good right. boy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't enough. <laughs> were you, wait, were you yeah. there on any of my Hermosa escapades? Um, no. No. Were you there when I wet up napkins and throw them at people? <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper, <laughs> little giant spitballs. <laughs> it's not my fault, you guys. I'm sorry. I repent. Nobody watched me. I was grow. I grew up in the off TV and the bars and sugar. And somebody got in my booty hole at a young age, and then I was just angry and defensive later, and I didn't know why. You were so, acting out. So I just blew <laughs> shit up. I ran from cops, and I and I threw spitballs at people and hot dogs. Like not just like yeah. just harmless fun. Okay, maybe I stabbed them in the leg one time. <laughs> <laughs> this harmless. He stole from me. He <laughs> stole my property. And this is America. It was worth it, though. You know, it was like one of those Jolly Rancher suckers. I was looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him, man. You stole something from him. Just steal it. <laughs> I borrowed it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's the Booker again. Okay. She just said, confirmed. Yes. Yeah, good times though. Yeah, holy hell. Yeah, I forgot about those. That remember the uh, the constant. See, we were making edibles before there was weed shops. Like motherfuckers don't understand. I feel like an old man, but like back in my day, <laughs> I used you to didn't have know to do everything what it myself. Was. <laughs> you, you, you did. Remember those hash oil edibles? That made us pass out in the car and made everybody throw up. Yes. Not the birthday party incident. <laughs> yeah, no, in, a different yeah, one in, in the, the in the van. <laughs> we all woke up. I woke up in a van parked outside of my house. <laughs> I was already home. I was so fucked up I couldn't get out of the van to make the final twenty five set foot. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Twenty five feet. I couldn't make it. Couldn't <laughs> make it. Everyone, I woke up in a car. Homie puked. Remember that? Yeah. He was puking his guts out. The driver. <laughs> I, I think it was literally just it was, edibles. It was hash we oil concentrate drink. edibles. Remember old girl? It was girl's, just the weed. <laughs> yeah. Remember old girl's mom ate it and she had to go to the hospital? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She was a square <laughs> Mexican lady, oh, no. straight from Mexico, I didn't speak English. That. She's like, oh, demonio. <laughs> <laughs> she sees a casserole dish. <laughs> <laughs> I had no part in that. <laughs> Homie left left the uh, the the pan with the, the, the scraps. And, you know, in those families, nothing goes to waste. And she ate the scraps on the, the, the crust. And then... She went to the hospital <laughs> and she was what hallucinating and shit. I mean, we were drug addicts and I couldn't walk to my door. Imagine with that lead lady never drank a drop of liquor in her life and she went to space, bro. I tell you what, she was at church every day that week. <laughs> <laughs> that poor lady. <laughs> Holy shit. You know what? I don't think we're gonna air this episode. <laughs> this is a I'm blowing up. This is a bad look. <laughs> I didn't do it. I I didn't do it. My bad. <laughs> there shouldn't have been leftovers. <laughs> I would have ate them. You were you there when I was? Oh yeah. When 
Were you there when I was selling like a quarter pound of weed and my mom knocked on the door and I was all greased up because I was oiling it up and whacking it the night before? And I told everybody. And we was like six, eight no, of us. No, I wasn't there. <laughs> you weren't there? Well, you were greased, greased up, I was all up and greased whacking up. it. No, that was the <laughs> night before. I'm just saying I was already, I was greased up from the night before. Okay. I was on Molly. You know, okay. You guys don't get <laughs> greased up on Molly. You pussies don't know how to live. God damn it. Uh, you gotta do. Anyways, the next morning, I almost got in a fight with my homie because of miscommunication. But then I was selling a quarter pound of weed and I had all the homies in, in my room. And this one, I live with my mama. Homie came by. There's like six, eight of us in the, in the room with three chairs, two bunk beds. <laughs> And we're all giggling. I'm greased up. I sell the quarter pound. My mom walks in. She goes, it smells funny in here. And I'm just like, she goes, and why are you all greased up? But they knew why I was greased up. So everyone started laughing. I was like, oh, mom, mind you, get out of here. I'm doing a drug deal. And I was whacking it last night. Get out of my room. I'm 25, god damn it. Give me some privacy. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I preach, guys. I say keep going. <laughs> yeah, because that's where I was. I was straight up Will Ferrell. Mom, the meatloaf. <laughs> Where's my burrito? <laughs> that lady's a saint. <laughs> <laughs> she... <coughs> if oh I my was God. my mother, I would have shot me. Yeah. <laughs> I would have shot me. You understand? I'd be like, ka. Take me away. I had to do it. She believed in me. She never gave up. And look at it. And I did it. Yep. I did it. I cleaned it up. Good for you, dude. Now I sell hoodies and not drugs. Mm -hmm. I sell jokes. And I stopped tricking friends into sniffing a little heroin. <laughs> <laughs> it was one time. At one time. He was already a drug addict. I was like, what's the difference? <laughs> This guy used to be on speed. Let's get him on some real shit. You know what I mean? I was like, this is better than speed. You're weird on speed. This, yeah. you just get itchy yeah. and mellow. You know, he's like, hey, nope. nobody likes when you, you know, you get a little tweaky, you wear your wife beater and you get all sweaty. <laughs> he's always in a tank top, remember? I don't remember ever getting itchy. That's on opioids. Uh, well, because that was your first time. You're so dope sick. You're just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> God. No, it was just a little bit. Just a little bit. We weren't hanging on for dear life until later when we took the bong hits. Yeah, I passed the fuck out. Yeah, it was dark days. Anyways, yeah. That was some good dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Moral of the story is weed, <laughs> mushrooms. The rest, no, 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 no. No. Hmm? <laughs> There's going to be more. What other well? Oh, remember at the bowling alley? When the bartender left and I went behind there and I was, I they had a Jaeger machine and I was doing a Barney Gumble. I put my mouth under it. I got like that. And then I filled up cups for everybody and I was handing out cups of Jaeger. And then I went home with our co-worker, remember? I just remember why you have her by the hand and you're like, woo, running out. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good time. Oh, well, they're leaving. I ended up in Mexico last that night. Oh yeah, you <laughs> yeah. idiot! Yeah, yeah, they went to Mexico. <laughs> That's some shit, bro. That's why you don't do drugs, kids. That was crazy. <laughs> Holy shit! It was a pointless trip. Yeah, you guys tried to get some hookers. I remember, but you, you couldn't get up because you're gay. <laughs> 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 I'm just guessing. That sounds about yeah. right. Yeah. If I put my money on that, that's what I, I would put my money on. I was like, I don't want it. If I'm a betting yeah. man. I don't, I don't want, want it. it. No. Where's, you guys have any burritos? Not in the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is a I crass I bet you they episode. did. I probably just Oh, for ask. sure. Yeah. We, we, got, we got something like, for mm. you. We got, we, got chicks with, <laughs> we got chicks with dicks over here. Not in Mexico. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I know it's like a common thing to go to Mexico and get some hookers, but <sighs> why? <laughs> why when they're right down the street? Yeah. They're right there. They're in, off Western in, in like Loth. 48th. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Have you Memory been down lane, there lately, bro. by the way? Huh? Have you been down there by the, lately, by the way? Uh-uh. Like just driving. So I do Amazon, too. And oh, yeah. I've been down there. Dude, these girls are wearing some shit. Oh, no, not the just hooker like, spot. Well, like, I thought you meant just the yeah, hood. Yeah, the hooker spot. No, the hooker spot. The hookers used to be right by LAX, but they pushed them further east because all the international flights nah, and shit. They're all off Western. Yeah. In the 40s. Yeah. Don't tell me that. One lonely night. <laughs> crazy dark. I'm like, oh, no. speaking of nobody's looking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. Ah, uh, hell. <laughs> Those are the best women. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> These are jokes, folks. I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> My street hooker stats are low. I'm very happy about that. That'd be a bad number. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You have stats for it. No. It's pretty low. No. <laughs> Just like once. once. What Just the fuck? Once. <laughs> once, maybe twice. Just once, yeah. Just once. Yeah. <laughs> one time. And I'm... if I did it another time, I don't remember. <laughs> it's one time high on cocaine working for Direct TV. I was going to do an installation. Jesus. And Street Hooker was like, hey, specific. big daddy. And I went, I went, what? <laughs> I was like, I was about to go install this dish. <laughs> but let me just do this right quick. <laughs> I think she sold me some drugs too. It's the one two combo. It was darkness. Oh. Dark days. Dark days. Anyways, go to the light, folks. Get out of the dark. <laughs> no need to go there. Get a cat. Go to the beach. No more street hookers. Get for four Cole. cats. Just one time. Just four cats. <laughs> four cats. If you have one cat, what's another three? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The kitty litter bills. There's a lot crazy. of There's a lot of kitties out there that need homes. <laughs> yeah. See, Mister Cat. No, I was I was talking about the darkness. He's like, let me go sit on this fool's lap. No, he needs the lovings. And not from the street hooker kind of love. You know I mean? <laughs> when you hear these stories, Chris, do you go, do you think like, yeah, I would do that too? Or do you go like, holy shit? No, this is like a peek into a world I would not. <laughs> <laughs> it gets darker. I, I bet. Yeah. I got out. Some of my friends kept going. Yeah. And now, like, my buddies, they are the hooker now. Like, what? <laughs> you're not even gay. You're selling your ass for dope? Dude, you've changed since high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine myself doing any of that shit now. I, I, like I said, I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't even go to the gym. Yeah, we used to get bugged out and just end up in Mexico. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> no. That's dangerous. Mexico's not even that dangerous, but it is when you're on alcohol and cocaine. Take that to the <laughs> bank. <laughs> go for the tacos. You know, then you're you're fine. If you go for drugs, liquor, and women, you're gonna you're, you're gonna find you're gonna something end up bad. In a Mexican prison. Yeah. I almost went one time, but I paid them, and then we were good. Take a 20 out of your shoe? 60 bucks. And this was probably at a time where that was like 150 bucks. I was like 15, 16. We used to go before we turned uh, 21. Oh, not that young. I must have been about 17, 18. It was high school shit. Yeah. Yeah, we used to just, so close. We used to just go Rosarito Beach. Senior frogs and then go bungee jumping and shit face over concrete. It's a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. First time I met this guy was at Coachella. Remember? He, I was like 18. And this one was getting me in the beer garden. 
and he fucking <laughs> gets 18. me a bracelet. And if, or wait, was I twenty? You were like I was 20. like twenty. But he gets me a bracelet, and he like uses his gum <laughs> to, oh, yeah. to connect it and put it on. I forgot about and then that. We walk up, and the lady goes, pulls it. She goes, "It's on the wrong wrist," and she pulls it, and the gum just. <laughs> 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 Didn't we just try with a different lady and we got you yeah, in? Yeah. Did, yeah, I don't give up. I'm not leaving my friend out there. Uh, He's 20 and he needs a beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. live. I think I was on seven drugs that trip. You were fucked up. I was still conversing. I was not. <laughs> I, th- I thought I held it down. You do seven drugs and see if you can yeah, sneak no, a man yeah, into a you, beer garden. He did it. I fucking so got it, bro. <laughs> MacGyver on seven rounds of drugs. Just a little bit of each. I didn't do a lot. I might have done a lot of pills. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a lot of coke. Anyhow, I just, I watch, I just like to get fucked up, you know? And I would watch Hunter S. Thompson, and I was like, I want to do that. And then I would, not even to the levels that he would. I just, I tried my best. (laughs) I tried my best to go to Cuckoo's Town. I was there for maybe 15 years, and I came back. Did I? (laughs) Did I? (laughs) Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, man. Whoa, Coachella back in the day. That was crazy. Uh, Was that Rage Against the Machine last year? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. York. That was a good one. Mm. Tupac came out. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> mm-hmm. I thought you were dead. No, I just remember thinking that. And I was so sad. He's here, but he's not. He's not. I was on mushrooms. <clears throat> Okay, Coachella. What else? There's more. But wait, there's more. Which party? Which party? Which party? That was some more epic shit. Oh, were you there when I pissed all over myself and then <laughs> sat on my lap and sat in my piss? Oh, <laughs> bleep, bleep name. Uh, bleep name. What was, uh, what was that? That was a San Pedro party. Oh, I know. And I peed. Our other manager's party. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't even remember. But yeah. yeah, I peed all over myself and I told everybody. And like like <laughs> a movie, I was like, man, I peed all over myself. It was a costume party. Yeah. And then a girl came up and was like, hey, Craig. And she sat on my lap and I was in piss. But I was like, you're cute. <laughs> so I didn't tell her. I didn't have the heart to tell her. You just sat in my piss. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, girl. I think somebody told her she never let me. You never let me hat and they, I'll try yeah. it. Everybody else did though. Anyways, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> was that the party where you came back in like regular clothes? And- oh no, that was a different <laughs> one when I shit on the church steps. Oh yeah. You I sh- I did cocaine cup with baby laxatives at a different Halloween party and there was a long line to the toilet. And it was either cut everyone and destroy it with that cocaine shit that cleans the bowels of hell, you know? You know, you smell, you're like, oh, this is coke shits in here. <laughs> and I went, I can't do that because there's so many hot girls in line. So I just ran down the street and I was in full costume. And then I tried to shit in this guy's front lawn, but they pulled up while I was trying to poop like a movie. I had a newspaper. It was straight Smokey and Friday. And then they, they were like two essays and they like cornered me. They were about to beat me up, and I just played it off like I was drunk. Well, I was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm just seeing you to pee. I'm at a party right there. I'm sorry. And they let me go. And then I ran to this church, and there was some steps, and I just diary it all over their <laughs> stairs. And I took pictures of it. But then I squatted. <laughs> I took pictures of it. And I showed you everyone. Yeah, I was like, look at this. I diary it all over this church. I committed a hate crime in That's- Orange County. 
<laughs> and then, something uh, to be so proud about. <laughs> but when I squatted and I, I, I squirted out my back end and front end. <laughs> so I peed all over myself and I had to change my outfit, but it was Halloween. So luckily I had to change the clothes. And then I came back just in regular clothes and they're like, what happened to your costume? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I shit and piss all over myself at this church. <laughs> I was like, look at the pictures of this dookie, dude. And then everyone was like, you're sick, bro. You're sick. <laughs> Anyways, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> moral moral of this whole <laughs> conversation. Have a son. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Have a kid. It'll change your life. I don't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you thought of that story and I forgot about it. I was like, oh, no, no, that was a different time. They accused me of stealing a watch and I didn't even steal a watch. But I fit the, you know, they, I, like, I fit, fit the description. <laughs> I shit on some steps. You think I'm a thief too? <laughs> you think I'm a thief? It offended me because I didn't steal the watch. Uh, you know, I was like, I. I may have shit on those <laughs> steps, but I didn't steal your fucking watch, I may have bro. Desecrated. <laughs> I may with my feces. <laughs> but I did not steal a watch. They make Damn enough it. money. They could pay for that cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> I shit on a church. Every church needs a pressure washer. <laughs> Imagine going to that church. Oh my God! <laughs> Demonio! <laughs> Demon! <laughs> the devil's real and he diarrheaed on our steps. <laughs> Devil shit. Pray, pray, people. <laughs> if anything, I boosted their subscribership, whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> you made everybody stop and say, look, they're shit. Look. <laughs> Somebody tried to paint the church. <laughs> Somebody painted it black. I mean brown. I said the wrong word. Painted black's a song. I'm gonna say painted brown. Uh, Son of a bitch. Like, I see a church door and I want to paint it brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Craig. Oh. I'm a little in my head of whether to put it all out there. I know I am. I already know I am. I'm just saying I'm a little in my head on this one. Mainly the heroin, the stabbing, and the diary on a church. <laughs> if I'm being real honest. <laughs> you know. I always tell people, just just tell the truth. The truth will set you free. Yeah. This is the truth. It's the truth. What are you going to do? Laugh about it. I diary it on one, <laughs> one church one time. I'm sorry. For that, I'm sorry. But I did it. I'm not over here. <laughs> I'm not I over here lying it. to you. I did it. I did Have it. Have you ever fucking shit on a church? <laughs> Let's see yeah. what happens when you do it and see if you seek forgiveness <laughs> and see how you feel. <laughs> I'm the only one out there, huh? I'm the only Have one. Have you asked for forgiveness oh, for so, that? I, I forgot about it until now, but yeah. So, forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> forgive me, God. I didn't mean to shit on you. That's what water's for. For uh, washing okay. your sins yeah. away. <laughs> washing. I need to get baptized again. <laughs> I better get baptized. We need a double baptism. Mm hmm. Yeah. Twice over for sure. We will circumcise the demons. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get down over here, bro. <laughs> We're circumcising demons. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Snip, snip, demon. <laughs> snip, snip. Good luck using that demon dick now when it's all stitched up, snippy. Huh? I've been yeah, there. Yeah, dude, how was I've that healing there. process? I remember oh, when you got it done. Yeah. You were like, can't, uh, can't touch my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was wounded. <laughs> I had stitches on my dick and I was a horny bugger. It's hard. It was a hard time. I didn't get out much. 
I was, just on, <laughs> I was on pills, pain pills. Like I'm just, I'm not gonna leave my room for a couple weeks. I was on pain pills, <laughs> getting high, just mo- molesting my stitched pecker with neosporin, <laughs> just squeezing it by myself, all dark, living at home with my mama and my grandma and my cousin and my cousins out the pen. And I just had a stitchy dick. I didn't go to college because of that. I was going to add in the classes, but I had stitches on my dick. <laughs> and I couldn't walk so good. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I didn't sign up through the internet because I'm a procrastinator and I was a drug addict and I had and I was on I had stitches and pills, you know? And I was like, I'll just add in. You can add in classes. And then I just had, I, I was busy with my Neosporin. <laughs> so I didn't go to college. <laughs> That's crazy that that's true. <laughs> I didn't go to college, community college, let's be clear here. I didn't go to El Camino Community College because I had stitches on my dick and I couldn't walk. I mean, that's an acceptable. Dude, I was, I told this, <laughs> I told this Excuse. story a million times, but I was at this, my buddies, my good buddy, uh, his parents' house were throwing a party. But they partied too. I've said it a bunch, but I had stitches on my dick. So I was like, hey, hey, guys, look at this. And I showed my buddy's parents my bloody dick. And they laughed and they still talk about it to this day. <laughs> They're like, remember Craig whipped out his stitchy dick and showed us? And then I ran to them. Uh, my, my, we, I played Little League with them. I've known them my whole life. And she just had a baby. I like, congrats on your baby. And she goes, my parents still talk about your stitched up dick. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's something. That's something. That's a life. <laughs> that's- I farted on the police. You know. Fart. Anyways. <laughs> people like it. I think this is an act. <laughs> it's in my soul, everybody. I'm trying to get it out. Why do you think I keep doing ayahuasca? Bleh, you puke out the chaos and, <laughs> and darkness and, st- and stitches and hookers and, and diarrhea on the church steps. Just let it out. <laughs> At that same time, I diarrheaed on the church steps. I worked for, uh, uh, I was a loan officer selling mortgages. And I was doing a lot of cocaine cut with baby laxatives. It was before fentanyl came. You just shit your pants. You didn't die. It was a good time. And then, because uh, they cut the coke with poop, baby laxatives. With baby laxatives. You don't remember? And that's no. why he had to poop. Yeah. Anyways, I wore shorts okay. to work and I sharded and shit, black shit down my leg. And I shit on the floor at work in casual Friday, short day. And I, and I asked my buddy I was carpooling with, I was like, hey, let me borrow your truck. I, I got to go get lunch. I'm starving. He's like, no, we'll go get lunch together at the correct time that we do every day. Why do you want to take my truck a few hours early by yourself? And I was like, shit my pants, dude. Come on. I need to go buy underwear. And then he told everybody in my work, he emailed everybody, Craig shit his pants. And then I quit. I fucking quit, bro. I was like, I'm fucking out of here. I'm not going to be diarrhea boy. I already shit. This is the same job. I shit on the church steps. And I showed everybody, and I diarrhea at work, and you then he told some everybody serious gastro problems, bro. I see no problem here. Do you, have you figured it out yet? Do you know what not to eat now? And yeah, you was don't, it just the coke? you don't eat cocaine cut with baby laxatives. I drank like a fish, and would do opioids that constipate you, and and do cocaine cut with baby laxatives that make you shit. Of course, I'm gonna squirt everywhere a few times. I shit. I'm like all like with these stories and stuff until I like get to the shit ones and I'm like, I wasn't with you on that one. I didn't do that. (laughs) I didn't do that. (laughs) Okay, bro. I already know you probably shit on some fool. (laughs) It was an accident. Yeah. Mine were too, bro. Mine were too. I was just by myself. (laughs) And, uh, I also, at that same time, I shit at my dad's house on his white carpet. And uh, <laughs> and then he looked at me because I was taking a shower. He's like, why would you take a shower? I was like, I shit. I shit on your rug in your room. And he just was like. <laughs> <laughs> he just shook his head at me. Like, oh. Yep. <laughs> I sharted on my manager. I just told that one, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's it. Uh, mm, excuse me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I sharted on my manager. And girls and you still, still like you me. You still dude. force farts out, huh? All the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Papa no didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be farting. I'll push them out. I'm going to do it. I, 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 even when I, like, you know, you feel that. You're like, this is dicey. I'll go. Let me do it. Let you me roll the it. dice. <laughs> I'll roll them dice. I sharted on Sadie, my ex lady. <laughs> I shit on her pussy, bro. I mean, it was, it was cloth. It was a tiny cloth. <laughs> we were spooning. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I mean, Fuck. one time. One time. I shit on her pussy. <laughs> like, it was an accident. I thought it was a fart. I thought I was being funny. I pushed too hard, and it happened. But I was wearing boxers, and it stopped it. It wasn't, like, direct. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I read one where a girl did what I did, but she was wearing a thong, and she got him. <laughs> got him. Yeah. Now that's crazy. Poopy. I I contained mine. Didn't she sit on my lap and I shit or something? Or I sat on her lap? <laughs> you sat on her I lap. I sat on her lap and with the skid mark. Yeah. Oh, and I sharted on her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think there was two sharts throughout that. I was with her four years. So four years. You're going to have two. Anyways. And you didn't say anything and you just got up and started taking a shower, right? Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember that one. She's like, why are you showering? No reason. (laughs) That's the same move I did at my dad's house. Why are you showering? You do not live here. No reason. Never mind that. Don't ask Black skid mark of diarrhea in your white carpet, sir. I tried to clean it. I tried to clean up, but it was, I was not healthy. You're gonna need some shout. Look like <laughs> look like squid ink, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I inked myself. <laughs> oh my God! I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm just really sorry about uh, my drug days, man. I was on sugar and cocaine and opioids and alcohol, and shit happens. And I I like. I like to shake. I like to stir the pot. <laughs> when you're on narcotics, your uh, your level of the line is way beyond it. You know, where you just pee and poo on stuff, and uh, <laughs> people are like, "What Incom- are you doing?" <laughs> and you yeah. just in your head, you're like, "Why? Why? <laughs> this isn't acceptable." Why? I just, it's just stitches. It's just diarrhea on your steps. What is the deal? I was going to clean it. I was going to. No, I wasn't. No, well, let's be clear here. No, I was not. I was running for the hills. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. But oh, you It's crazy that you shit all over the steps, but you still manage to shit on yourself. No, too. peed. Because my pecker was pissing straight forward. <laughs> my booty was blasting out the back. So I peed on my pants and they were completely soaked. But I was more I was more looking out the back and the fire coming out of my ass than my, my, my piss. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Shit. Were you there when, um, we'll bleep his name, <laughs> and I got arrested and did the no call no show? And then we, and then I remember that happening, but and then he lied and I told the truth. Me and my coworker, who was a knucklehead, we both missed work because we were in jail <laughs> and we were doing a turnaround. So, what we would do is we'd work you work like uh 4 a.m. to midnight and come back and work 4 a.m. to noon. It's called the turnaround. And so, we were like, we'll just do coke and drink and stay up and do it all, you know. <laughs> so, we worked the uh, like. We got it. We got it. <laughs> it seems normal, but I realize how crazy that sounds. You know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> he was a tweaker fool. I was an opioid fool. And then we go out to Hermosa. We start drinking. We start doing drugs. And we meet these girls. And that's the time he accidentally steals the neighbor's truck. And the neighbor was like, get out of my truck. Because I had a white Ford Ranger. And the neighbor had a white Ford Ranger. But mine was in a different city. But we were so fucked up. He didn't. 
it didn't register. <laughs> and the neighbor's like, get out of my truck. He's like, it's my buddy's truck. Fuck you. And then the cops came and I came out. So I was on the couch with a girl. I didn't want to come out. He's like, give me your keys because he fought some fool. And then he had, he got kicked out of the party. So I gave him my car keys. And then I was like, oh, no. Like, he's a tweaker and he's got my car and he's hammered. <laughs> so I run outside and I didn't know he stole the neighbor's car accidentally and didn't really. But the cops pull up and I had Oxycontin and cocaine and I just run. And I went to run back in the house, but I was so hammered. I didn't remember which house it was. <laughs> so I just booked it down the street. And then they draw guns on me. And I'm in my Trader Joe's uniform. And then they start laughing. I get cuffed up. And I'm apologizing to the girls. I'm like, I'm sorry. We got love, you know. And then we both went to jail. And he caught a charge, but I just got the drunk tank. And then I, I had, that's the time I had the scab on my forehead. Remember yeah. that? And then... uh and then I was going to lie to Trader Joe's at work the next day and say, like, oh, I got hit by a bus or something. <laughs> and then I just told the truth. I was like, oh, I got arrested. I was in jail. I'm sorry. And then they laughed and they sent me back to work. And then the homie lied. And then they fired him. <laughs> yep. And that's why you tell the truth, folks. Yep. I got locked up. Why, well, I'm sorry. It is what it is. And then... <laughs> That was the time I I pulled the pills out of my um, nuts in the in the jail and you the camera them? was on me and I went ah. <laughs> and I ate them and I left more fucked up. I drank Gatorade. I puked down PCH. I went to my buddy's bong shop. I stole a bubbler, but then I felt bad and I brought it back. And then I drove home. <laughs> <sighs> when is this book gonna come out, dude? I want to read it. <laughs> Just listen to the pod. It's all there. <laughs> it's all there. This is a, definitely a highlight reel yeah. of all of them, though. That's why I like bringing a friend from back then. Yeah. <laughs> Debauchery. My friends before you, I can't even bring them back. I'm like, we can't tell them what we did. <laughs> we killed a man. <laughs> no. It was always just mischief. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anything for a laugh. It was fun. Yeah. Any questions? Comments, answers. Answers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this will be us on mushroom. <laughs> 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 I remember we went to the beach and we called it Costa Rica. Go, we were Costa all bugged. Rica. We were all bugged out. <laughs> we're, in we're in Costa, Costa Rica, Rica, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Then it got cold that night. So, so cold. cold. <laughs> when you're on mushrooms and the sun sets. <laughs> How long have we been rolling? Uh, an hour 17. Oh, wow. That's a good episode. Shit. Do you have any diarrhea stories? You shit the bed? No. <laughs> Come I, on, No, bro. honestly, I, I don't have any diarrhea stories. You want to know what's crazy? Is I didn't start farting like... I was always afraid to push my farts out. And so I didn't start farting until I was like 20 or something. <laughs> you farted. Now I fart. It's fun. But <laughs> what, what you have a little. <laughs> you never farted until you're 20 years old. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, you had to fart. You either you fart. Know what a cream pie is, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, man. That's too far, bro. <laughs> I'm over here diarying and pissing, and this guy brings up his gay shit. And I go, that's parts. too far. <laughs> no, that's too far. They call like a pussy fart a queef. What do they call a gay cum fart? Like a beef? A bussy fart? <laughs> <laughs> a bussy? <laughs> I called it a beef. <laughs> a beef. With like a U. A beef. A beef. <laughs> <laughs> B B U E E F a boy. A boy. There you go, Queens. You got a I new like term. It. It's a boy. You ever fart Tom? It's a boy. <laughs> Fucking boy <beef> suckers. <laughs> you ever fart Tom? It's, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> <can't. laughs> I hope you're not listening to this at work, huh? <laughs> you little boys. <laughs> We got the beef army over there. <laughs> <laughs> the beef. <laughs> it's a beef. 
It's a boy. <laughs> That word. <laughs> so yeah, next time you're at a boif. restaurant, I'll have I'll have the boif biscuit. <laughs> boif. <laughs> the boif. Holy boif shit! <laughs> of the boif quack casserole, please. You guys, the boif. <laughs> I'll have the boif medium uh, well. <laughs> I'll have the boif meatballs. <laughs> oh. I think I exhausted it. <laughs> <laughs> you never want to say the last one that falls flat. You go, ah, too much. Too much. <laughs> that was a pretty good brief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of more Trader Joe's stories. When we first got hired... Weed was illegal, and every grocery store pissed us, but not Trader Joe's. And because of that, 85% of the workers smoked weed. Remember when we went on a, like a 10-minute break, and we looked, and we counted six cars smoking? Six. Yeah. Like, not together, all... not coordinated. <laughs> I know what they're doing. I know yeah, what they're doing. <laughs> I've told this shit. I mean it. I would buy it off one manager and sell it to everybody else, and everyone was like, shh. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> remember it's like coming in from break that one time oh yeah like, trampling all over we, just because we knew we stunk dude. we just hot box <laughs> like a blunt our manager <laughs> saved us though he was like He's like, go, court run. He's like, go to a cart run you guys read come on we're like sorry bro Oops. <laughs> it's kush <I'm> sorry <laughs> We're not smoking shit. I will be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, invite me next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were full. Smoking a joint on a 10, a blunt on a 10. 10 minutes isn't long enough to right air on out. The side. Right, <laughs> right Go on the back side in, just reek. Didn't you burp up a big cloud on red? <laughs> <laughs> or I did? Or we all did? I ran into the homie Mitch. We'll leave his name in. Remember Mitch? Yeah. We He, oh, I burped up? I don't He's remember. He's a ripper. Yeah. <laughs> One of us burped up smoke on Reg, probably both of us. Did I say the pen story in the in the ass crack? Remember that? I remember that. Our coworker bent over and her ass crack was, and I put a pin in it, and then her head hit the the money train, and the money flew everywhere like fucking Mario Kart. The coins just was that was that Sonic, yeah. you know? She was so mad. Yeah, but it was funny. It was funny, shit. dude. She had one of those red in the face, I'm mad at you, but that was the yeah. funniest shit that has ever happened. <laughs> that was America's Funniest Home Video shit. Gotcha. <laughs> Did I tell this story when I slammed my hand in the door? No. Wait, maybe. Long oh, ago. damn it. Were you there at work when I was, I used to always put weed in the glove box and you'd leave <laughs> me cash. And then I was doing it to the homie Mitch and he's a good dude. And uh, um, <laughs> I slammed the door on my hand. So I was stuck in his car door, and it hurts so oh, bad. I don't know if you ever slammed your hand in a car door, but you're just <laughs> screaming. And I was like, bah. And I, sh and I was had to call him, like, Mitch, come get your weed. Like, I need you to unlock your car, because it wasn't my car. I slammed my hand in his car, because I, I put the weed in there and took the money, and then he, I was shutting the door, and I went in. It's stoner shit, you know? And then I was just stuck until he came, and he's just laughing. And I'm like, hurry! Ah! He's all panicking. Yeah, my hand was just in his car door. He's like, what happened, bro? Don't Crushed. ask stupid questions. Just open the fucking door. Press the unlock. Hit unlock. Jesus Christ. Yeah. A lot of that. A lot of that type of stuff when you're on drugs. <laughs> just, you know. <laughs> that will happen <laughs> oh my god I can't believe I'm alive <laughs> he was there for a lot of it I can't believe you're I can't alive. believe I'm alive yeah, <laughs> yeah he was right you could have killed me <laughs> <laughs> you could have killed me <laughs> Remember that one time you were driving home in the rain from Long Beach? You spun out <laughs> and we did a 360 and then ended up pointing the right oh, way. Oh my God. <laughs> that was Mario Kart. That was Mario Kart. Dude, we went through We're some on the roof. Were we on that, that roof? Yeah. On a heli we're on a helicopter. We're on a 
a helicopter landing pad at a high rise in Long Beach with these girls drinking and drugging, doing somersaults up there. Nah, that was fun. Yeah. Right on the edge. Yeah, right, but right it on the edge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't fun. All those videos of those those I felt wasn't there something underneath us? No, no it was those things on the the like chains. The... Yeah, we're doing somersaults on them too. I remember. Anyways. Bulls. Yeah. You know the scene <laughs> in uh, Permanent Midnight where Ben Stiller is all on cocaine, he's running at the glass on the high rise and just hitting it <laughs> and bouncing back. It was some shit like that. <laughs> we're doing somersaults on a on a heliport pad on the chain link on the outer brim. And I, I said to myself, there was something underneath there. But I don't think there was. No. No. Mm -hmm. Anyways, get sober, kids. <laughs> That's how dark it gets. <laughs> <laughs> we were on bleefs. We didn't know. Yeah. It was a new drug. <laughs> <laughs> on bleefs. We were high on bleef. The boy status. <laughs> we're on bleef. <laughs> Holy hell. You were there for that one. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, get up. I guess we should wrap this up. That was too dark. Let's think of something funny something and nice like, and warm. Right. You were there when my when we watched my cousin come out of my cousin. You didn't watch. You no, weren't in the room, but that. you would hold them. You would hold baby Benson. Yeah, yeah I, I just remember didn't that. Watch that. I don't, don't want to see that. <laughs> I was like, come on, come in, dude. Come on, it's a show. <laughs> it's a freaking showstopper right there. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm in the brief. <laughs> I'm in the bleef, not queef. <laughs> okay, bro. I remember when I first met you, I first was getting into stand-up, and I had that voice recorder, and I was always recording yep. crazy antics when we were hammered. And then we are at some party, and it fell out of my pocket, and somebody found it and was listening to it. <laughs> and I was talking about eating dog treats and dog food, <laughs> and they were just listening to it, and they're like, oh, my God, what is this? They're laughing. I was like, give me that back. That's mine. <laughs> they're like, why were you talking about eating dog food? It's my first joke. You know? It's still a hit. <laughs> it's a good joke. You know, I tell you one thing that you did get me into. Um, positive affirmations. Oh, yeah. 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 To this day, I always, I'm like. I'm part grief. Can't make me have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good thing to end on. Yeah. I was into positive affirmations when I was doing somersaults on the edges of buildings wanting mm -hmm. to die. That's how long it takes for these things to kick in. You understand? <laughs> yeah. That was your that was your beginning of your journey. So. Yeah. And you start off so low, but inch by inch and brick by brick. That's why I always preach what I preach because I was in the depths of hell. I mean, we you heard a lot of it, you know. From uh you know, <laughs> we need not recap, but <laughs> you, you heard the pod. Uh, from the depths of hell to uh, selling out my shows and providing for my son and not doing this shitting on churches and stuff, you know, you can turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> but it all started with Louise Hay and the book You Can Heal Your Life. And then I found uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer and Esther Hicks and uh, fucking uh, I like Joe Dispenza. All these positive people, the stoic shit, the everything you think is true, like Prince said on the hoodie. And that's why I preach it, because slowly, extremely slowly, millimeter by millimeter over the last, Jesus, maybe uh, 14 years, I have bettered myself and now I can buy a home. And before I was cash advancing to buy a beer. And that's why I keep <laughs> preaching it, kids. Because yeah. if I could do it, you can do it. Because I don't think you were down as dark as me. <laughs> you know? If you think you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen you to have this no episode. Idea. <laughs> we'll call it, we'll it Bleefquake. <laughs> Bleefcakes. <laughs> and uh, Bleefcake. that's why I keep preaching, man. And sometimes I get in my head about it because I, I don't, you know. Obviously, I'm not a preacher. I'm a comic, but uh, and uh, but I keep doing it because a lot of knuckleheads out there be like, "Fuck, dog, your shit helps me." Because I d I was a spitball kid too, what? you know. <laughs> and it's okay, man. Yeah. It's all good. Just turn it around, baby. It's never too late to turn it around. The great Tame Impala said uh, in one of their songs, they said, 
um, they said, P- hang on, let me get it right. <laughs> and Tame Impala album, it's either on uh, Currents or Slow Rush, but they say like, they say people don't change, but they do. That's bullshit. Because it's true. Uh, ignoramuses don't change. You know, it doesn't matter. Like I said, if it's a millimeter at a time, as long as it's in that way, mm-hmm. it'll add up. It'll add up. It took 14 years of these gay affirmations. <laughs> <laughs> you, I love you, Craig. <laughs> you can do it you are enough <laughs> <laughs> wish it would have been instilled in me in my fucking childhood but I'll do the heavy lifting um, but yeah that's 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 the cards you're dealt and I'm a fan of a not playing the victim and getting to work even though I know there's victims out there I got, I got it too <laughs> <laughs> Ow, owie <laughs> my booty <laughs> everyone's a victim <laughs> you know but you could just uh, laugh at it and move on move forward let it go forgive your trespassers yeah like Tupac says in the beginning of smile with Scarface he said I forgot but it's good it's good <laughs> <laughs> I've only heard it nine million times. No, he said something like, uh, it, it, you know, there's going to be some shit that's hard, but, ho- you know, keep put your chest out, keep your head up, and smile through the bullshit. Yep. Fucking West Side, bitch. Uh, my fofo make sure all your kids don't grow. <laughs> yeah, son. He also said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck Jay-Z, Tupac for life, West Side. Fuck you, P. Did it, bitch ass <laughs> motherfucker. Fucking West Side, and this motherfucker right here. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you stay with me. I love you. Yeah, positive affirmations. Listen to Louise. Hey, you can heal your life, Doctor Wayne Dyer. I've been preaching it. It took fourteen years to kick in, but here we are, baby. Yep. And it's all, it never ends. The work never ends. No. Now I got to be all fucking sweet because my son's here and I don't want to be like my dad. You know, you shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, daddy. <laughs> the truth hurts. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just love you. Anything else? I love you too, dude. I love you, dog. I missed you, dude. I know. It's been a long time. But yeah. I, these are the best type of friends. Where it could be two years, ten years, twenty-two years, and you just get together, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> fucking cackle. Remember when we bleep? Remember when we bleep? We? You mean you? <laughs> I'm a queef sucker, motherfucker. You the bleep? No, uh, I love you, and the amount of stories we have together—it's fucking crazy, dude. And onward and upward, baby, and yep. that's it. Much love. Now I must say, give it up for my homie Kyle. Thank you, sir. I Thanks love for having me, sir. Thanks for giving my mom that yeah. cookie. Oh, I yeah. got it. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Hell yeah. I, if, every cookie they came in and get, it was free. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't, he's going to get fired now. Six free now. cookies here. <laughs> he's going to get fired. <laughs> the cookie. <laughs> don't be ratting yourself they out. They fire me. How do you think I got fired? They're not going to fire me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go get some cookies then. <laughs> I get free cookies. Hey. Free cookies from the beef sucker. The customer needs cookies to always come back, right? Yeah. Give me my peanut butter cookie. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy hurts. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just love you, bro. I love you. And <laughs> namaste. Nothing but love. And if you're offended by this episode, you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> Good. I don't give a shit. I sell out now. <laughs> I sell out. <laughs> Dad has got his money. Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck my fucking dick. I was towing the line. Now I don't give a shit. Yeah. That's right, brother. <laughs> but stay positive. <laughs> and don't do drugs. <laughs> and don't do drugs. Only weed and mushrooms and ayahuasca. <laughs> That is my message. I love you all. Good night. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there?